Okay, the electric service panel is in the laundry. And that no longer meets current standards. You could, this is a joke. You could adjust the load and flip the breaker at the same time. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. This is not proper labeling, and it's not supposed to be handwritten either. It's supposed to be printed like this type of print. And it's supposed to be specific, not just lights. So that's that. The electric service panel does not have a main service disconnect. See all that paint in there? This box, this box was obsolete the day it was installed or the day after it was installed because the painters came in and they put paint all in there. If you got paint all in there and you can see paint up in there, you know it, you know it's everywhere. Now it's it's given some good service. It'll probably continue to give some service, but this is obsolete. This is this is all wrong. Now this is L1 and L2. Um, these are aluminum wires coming cables coming in. Um, the Texas Real Estate Commission says that I've got to call the lack of antioxidant paste or deficiency. And some aluminum wires it's required and some aluminum wires it's not. And we don't know which one those are, these are, but they do not have an antioxidant paste and I gotta call that. This is the, what are the main lug? This is the main neutral and it should have white tape. It's been painted white. Not the main neutral. Is it? L1, L2. This is the this is the main neutral, and has been painted white, but it should have white tape wrapped around it so that any idiot would know. I mean, fool would know that that's the main neutral. And if you don't know that, then you don't belong in this panel. These white hots should be wrapped with black tape. This is the breaker for the condensing unit outside and the condensing unit outside is rated for a 20 amp breaker and that's a 30 amp breaker so it's oversized you got an oversized breaker here and then all this combustible lint that should all been it doesn't belong in there what else the bonding location of course this is a multifamily unit so I'm not sure about that I'm treating it as a single family this probably doesn't apply, I'm just going to qualify that right now, but the bonding location should be labeled inside of the panel. Gaps between the box and the drywall should not be larger than an eighth of an inch. And then the cable, this one at least, you see where it's been rubbing. This cable is not supposed to be in direct contact with the dead front cover plate. This is called bundling. Only two cables are supposed to enter the, the cabinet at any one point. They've opened up a larger hole and they've routed several in for convenience. And again, it's given lots of, it's very common. I'm not discounting my work. It's very common. I have it in my house, but my house is not for sale. My house is not for sale. And it just wasn't right. It's called the skin effect. All these wires together generate more heat than they normally would. There's an open knockout spacer right up here. Okay, so that compromises the fire blocking of this panel. So that's all for the panel. A three-prong electric clothes dryer. I don't know if you can see that. But it is. And then we have some popcorn ceiling throughout. Okay. Asbestos has been found in some of this popcorn ceiling. I don't know. It's beyond what I do. But there may or may not be some asbestos in that popcorn. So if you're wanting, planning to change your ceiling surfaces, you want to update some, then this needs to be treated with some respect. As long as it's painted, it's encapsulated. So it's not an issue. It's not an issue until it starts coming down.